Hello, I'm Reverend Albert E. Love. I'm the coordinator of the Voter Empowerment Collaborative. And we are here to uh, call on all of the public to come to the West End Mall, 850 Oak Street, Atlanta, Georgia, 30310, to register people to vote. We are there from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every Saturday. Come, there are over 600,000 uh, eligible black Georgians who are unregistered. And we think that that is appalling and we are going to make a difference. Come and let's register our people to vote. Uh, we have less than a 20% voter turnout. We want to change that. We want a 100% voter turnout. And come and let's get involved. Thank you so kindly. Hi, I'm Benny Crane. I'm the chairman of uh, On the Move South Fulton. Come join us as we engage to, to register over 90,000 eligible but yet unregistered people in, in South Fulton County. Meet us at the Cat Creek Marketplace every Saturday uh, at 10 a.m. in front of the Target. You can also email me, reach out to me, let me know that you're on board. Let me know that you're in it with us. You can email me at on the move South Fulton. That's on the move S O Fulton at bellsouth.com. We need to connect, or you can reach me by telephone at 404 317 7283. There are 90,000 eligible but yet unregistered people in South Florida County, and wherever they are, we're coming to get you. Hello, my name is Mark Henderson, and I'm with the Fulton County Department of Voter Registration and Elections. Georgia ranks 50th in the nation in voter participation. I'll say it again. Georgia ranks 50th in the nation in voter participation. It is extremely important that everyone who is wishing to exercise their right to vote get registered, know what your voting rights are, what your voting options are, Take advantage of those options and exercise your right to vote. It is of extreme importance. Thank you. Mark, I got your email. Yeah. I sent you some stuff. Okay. Hi, my name is Brittany Bowman. I'm 23 years old, and I want to give a call out to all you young people, 18 and older. Get out there and vote. If you have friends who are able to vote, get them registered. And once you get registered, don't just sit on that registration. Go vote, okay? You can make a difference. Thank you. Hello. Where am I? Hi. My name is Melissa Prescott Crawford. I'm the 13th Congressional District Chair, and I recommend that you come out and vote. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Cyril Mungo. And I am one of the council members for the city of Stone Mountain. It is imperative that we all come out and vote. The right to vote didn't just happen. It took many people who made sacrifices, and some of them made the ultimate sacrifice, in order for us to obtain this right to vote. So please, for those who are not registered, please get registered. But for those who are registered, 
please come out and vote. And to our Caribbean brothers and sisters, please, it's imperative for those who are naturalized citizens, who are registered to vote, please come out and vote. And for those who are permanent residents, please make an effort to obtain that citizenship which will give you the right to vote. And the reason being is that everything we do revolves around voting, to obtain services for our community. To obtain that service, it means having a relationship with your elected official. And the only way that you have that relationship, I mean, you can have a relationship, but it's more effective when that elected official knows that a specific area has what is recognized as a voting block. Now he, in, re in return, will definitely make an effort to provide service, not just any type of service, but quality service for your community. So once again, please, for those who are not registered to vote, please register to vote. And for those who are already registered, Please, come out and vote. Yeah, yeah. If you want to do it, I got to do it. It's one of my votes here. One more. Uh, All right. Fred V. Man Watson, and again, a collaborator and supporter of the Voter Empowerment Collaborative. And I certainly want to urge you to vote and have other people to come out and vote as well. And so it's, me, it's, it's, so, it's so powerful to have a movement like this that Reverend Love and so many others have come together to start. But to make this happen is going to require that you, each of us, do our own part to make sure that in the end we win. And the way we win is to begin. And that means to begin having people like you and I hold up our own end. If we hold up our own end, then inevitably we'll be successful and we won't fail. This is Fred V. Man Watson, host of Primetime. Good news, I want to thank you for being who you are and thank you for voting. I'm thanking you in advance for doing the right thing. Well, this has been a wonderful afternoon. The opportunity here is to share, but more importantly, the knowledge of why you need to vote. Not only is it your human right, but it's your American right. Do not be a silent partner to what you do not agree on. So for our young people who are just turning 18, do not lose your right to vote. For our seniors, do not be apathetic because laws are being made and changed every day that are taking away your rights to vote. So this is a very important election year. Hold people accountable. If there are judges you don't like, you need to go out and vote. So again, this is an important right for every every American citizen. Uh, this is Marilyn Neal, who's all about books. And we, of course, are live with SIBN Atlanta TV. And we, of course, are very, very involved with the Voter Empowerment Collaborative with Reverend Love. So we ask you, we plead you, do not be a solid participant in the laws that you do not approve of. Again, thank you. This is Marilyn Neal. Hi, my name is Norris Andrews. I encourage you to get out and cast your vote. Don't get caught up in if you don't vote, you don't count. Please vote, and we do know if you don't vote, you really don't count. So your vote is very important, so cast your vote. Thank you. <laughs>